I think that means he's quite pleased. Now, what were you shouting there as you were going around? You were saying, Satan, Satan, what's yeah. that mean? I'm a little bit crazy. Little bit? When I, yes, yes, when I'm competing. You go crazy? Yeah, I have to do, do it crazy. Well, you, you, you do all the posing and you're, you're really getting angry with yourself, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, I have to. It helps. Look at it! Well, we are looking at it and it's going aloft. Fraction. And the usual invocation to the Viking gods of heavy boulders. Anyone got an aspirin? But not to be. And it's a good throw. And one in the eye for us. A fellow who will relish this event. They have a somewhat similar event in the Viking game. And as you can see, He's using a hand-over-hand -hand technique, and this is what's needed. He even looks as if he's enjoying it. How about that? How about that indeed? Great effort. This is by common consent, the hardest event in a hard competition. They call lorry loading the man killer. And John Paul is sprinting. This is going to be a very fast time. One minute, 31.7 seconds. Do you get the feeling he's moderately... In a bank in England, waiting for you, is 1,000 English pounds. You have been voted personality of the competition. Congratulations. Thanks. All Jeff has to do now is to deliver his last sack and he's won the competition. And he's done it. And he's taking on John Paul Sigmarsson of Iceland. Sigmarsson is the youngest competitor. He's very big, powerful, and extremely athletic. And the young Icelander has more than a hint of the old berserker fury of his Viking ancestry. But Schickler is finding this event not at all to his liking. A few well-chosen Viking imprecations and Sigmarsson. While invoking the help of Odin, or maybe he's just saying hello, Mom in Icelandic, here goes Sigmarsson at 370 kilograms, 815 pounds. And John Paul decides he's not all that fond of milk anyway. Tempts as he wishes and Sigmarsson is determined to keep in contention. But it's too much, and he decides to chop the log while he's about it. So the Icelandic showman will settle for a share of the lead. Four and a half feet. Can the pupil beat the master? And that's a tremendous throw. They'll be proud of him in Scotland. With a second throw, Sigmarsson sets a new world record. Yeah! 17 metres, 29 centimetres. Yeah! So, a new world record for John Paul. And how important is it to you to, to win this competition? Oh, I want to be the king of the competition. Always.
absolute concentration as he prepares for that lockout up above. Yes, he's done it. And it's body beautiful time. So the pair are still dead, not with only two rock. I've been training uh, many sports, like karate, and where I have some spirit, you know. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a boxer, or the strongest man in the world. I'm looking forward to do the arm wrestling. I'm looking forward to be broken or broke somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for the go, yeah. both of you. Right. Take the strain. Seems good for Jeff. But just look at that power and Jeff's hurt. The king has lost his crown. The king has lost his crown, Lord John Ford, in his moment of victory. But Jeff gave a shout of absolute agony at the end of the battle. What exactly happened? Come on! I heard the muscle tear. John Paul, congratulations on being the world's strongest man. Thank you. How do you feel at this moment? Uh, I am like we say in Iceland, I am in seventh heaven. S since I was about five years old, I said to my brother, one day I'm going to be the world's strongest man. But of course he made a laugh of me. He didn't believe you? No. He'll have to believe it now? Yes. John Paul Sigmundsson. Some very brave person in the crowd has actually called him an Eskimo. And he's heard that remark all right. I'm not the Eskimo, I'm a Viking! <laughs> if you hadn't been engaged in something else, you might have put the record straight another way. But to the matter in hand, a small matter of 495 kilos. Oh, the definitive look of triumph on that face. It's successful. He feels it can match kicks for speed and doesn't it look like it immediately? Like Jeff, he's off to a very fast start. If his time is outside Cakes, indeed it's 32.4. Three seconds behind Cakes. Rulwa has struggled again, and his aim is to beat Pip. Even, even giving this man, Mr. Cakes, a start yeah. like that. But uh, last year, I hurt the lion. <laughs> and when the lion gets hurt, yeah. he comes back harder and he's got to kill the lion before he's less dangerous. It's a crucial bit now. Straining at it as well, but confidently so. And it's coming up to the finish, it's 20.1 and that puts him well in the lead. That's a triumphant shout that the crowd are now accustomed to. It's time for a lap of honour. by that event. Yeah! The sound of the Viking. He certainly varies his warm-ups, but it always gets a crowd on his side, and he's a character. Over to you, John Paul. Yeah! 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 Well, it won't be easy for whoever does it, but... He's going to roll off it. He's rolling off it a bit. He can do it. He can do it. He seems to have mastered that wide hold. It's almost there now. And hold the balance all in the one. Ah. Well, he came a lot closer than I did. He's going to get... Stop! No, even for a Viking, it's beyond mastery. Oh, well. There's almost an indignant look on his face. All right! He wasn't all that far away from maximum points, but he's a... And in a sense, there's a personal duel going on here outside the title itself. The 25-year-old Icelander has become a great friend of Cakes, but the Englishman will never forget how he lost his title and how some people automatically assume he might be over the hill.
He's not. And he's out now to prove it, not only to others, but even perhaps more importantly to himself. The last two pots for the Icelander. The final search. And it's all over in 1 minute 41.1 seconds. Time for the last demonstration. The skies might even ask him back with a tourist attraction. But the eyes are on Kate. Up for these last two pots. Look at the timekeeper as he done it. The thing is not there. Yes, would you believe it? 1 minute 57.9. He's come back. Second place enough. Title his again. The one he nearly loaned out for the year to the man who sportingly raises the arm of the new champion. What how did he feel when he had Jeff, Jeff Shug? The king's yeah. not dead. He was never dead. But I took his crown for one year and uh, I will be back for my crown. Because I'm a Viking warrior. I will always be back. I have a very big problem over there. 170 kilos of problem. <laughs> Jeff Capes. <laughs> On speed, nothing much to choose at the moment. Sigmundson's first to the turn, though, and quicker with the harness. He shortened the length of the rope like capes, and that seems to be the right method. Dusk goes well behind. Point two. I think he's responding. He didn't like losing his crown last year. Now he's intent on showing that Capes is living out that title in borrowed time. He certainly started fast, but all the competitors slow down approaching that last stone. And he's beaten Kate by a full three seconds. I am the strongest! I am the Viking! Yes! The modest Icelander has taken the event by storm. All you want to get set! Not an event that would likely give John Paul many qualms. Oops! That cannot be for the knacker's yard after that. Well, John Paul might have hurt his leg, but it doesn't show. Well, he really can't get enough of this challenge. You obviously don't need jacks in Iceland. Oh, it's very fast. 22.2. Icelandic blood. Viking blood. <laughs> and into the spotlight, the man who loves it. Except you don't need to be a masochist to build up for this. It's simply John Paul's way. Remember not to bring your arms forward, keep your hips back, and go over the bottles at the end. Okay. Now, John Paul prefers mobile events, but since he's fond of winning, he'll not flinch. Now, he's either thinking of drinking champagne afterwards, or Miss Iceland, or even both. And he succumbs, but in a marvellous time of 1 minute 11.3, a new competition record. All the world's a stage to John Paul. He sees that body of his reflected in the enthusiasm. But he's with Brewer, not really against him. And the Frenchman is surprised. Do you think you can win back the title? I don't think uh, that I can win the title. I am going to win the title. That's but Grizzly's down and rules dictate he must get up quickly. Doesn't he look better in champagne? Well, he was hoping that his success last night would act as a spur to improve his position with this event today. But a consoling hand from the victor, John Paul. It would appear that Monsieur Brewer isn't too keen on early morning dips, but a man from Reykjavik has other ideas. This is French synchronized swimming. Well, going in has saved him penalty points. Coming out has saved him pneumonia. Well, at least you can say about these big men, the fun is clean.
But there's a tremendous bond between these two, but the big link is... A mere 50 stone or so. No problem at all. But it seems that John Paul is being disqualified for throwing the boat down, and he doesn't seem to understand the situation. There's clearly a language problem here and some confusion all around. Jeff seems to be explaining to John Paul that by dropping the boat, he infringed the rules and is in serious trouble. The Reykjavik Supporters Club is anxious. But the competition is going on and John Paul acknowledges the applause for Jeff and the other competitors for allowing him to continue. This is only John Paul's third lift. He's saving his strength for the really big weight. He's attempting 400 kilos. That's 63 stone. Three times his own body weight. And doesn't that seem very easy? And yet again, he seems to have infringed the rules. David Webster tells him to keep his back straight. And of course, having to lift 400 kilos again means expending a lot more precious energy. Yes, he's there. And it looks like he could even lift the QE2. He is, after all, an entertainer, so he mustn't forget his public. But the new champion has to finish to get maximum score unless he wishes to do to prove a point. The point being is that he has so much in reserve. His final tactics coming straight from John Wayne at the Alamo. And there's little danger of John Paul being disqualified for his last lift. After all, he surely deserves the good things in life as the world's strongest man. I am the king! Some pounds. He really is incredible. Uh, this is uh, the heaviest truck loading we've ever had. And for a long course, 10 meters, so it will be very tough. How do you cope with the pain? I smile. Is that the answer to pain? Yeah, yeah, smile. It is. <laughs> Don't me. And it's there. Sigmarsson with his last one. And that's the fastest time of all. But for teetotaler John Paul Sigmarsson, a bowl of spaghetti. Pasta quickly replaces lost energy. And all the aches and pains. Oh, John Paul's rope has snapped. Oh, Too much power rolls, John Paul. Well, maybe so. He's almost run into the line. And it's 18 seconds. Jamie, 21. Bill Kazmaier has said you're a paper champion. How do you feel about that remark? You see, uh, I teach him a lesson last year. We had a competition between me, Kasmeyer, and Jeff Capes. A competition of uh, who was the world's strongest man of all time. And I beat him. I won eight events out of 10. So he can eat his paper. His arms. Yes. Down. Hello, Kasmeyer. Hello, Kasmeyer, he says. Bill's paper champion remark has obviously stung him. I'm a warrior, I'm wounded, but it makes me more dangerous. You see, I'm a monster killer. I kill the monsters. And Bill's laughing, they're mocking John Paul, but he laughs on the other cheek. Literally, as John Paul steadily comes back at him, Kazmaier's suddenly all over the place. Can John Paul overtake him? He's still fighting back, but I don't think so. Kazmaier still has time to cross that line. And with John Paul Sigmarsson, who's brought some Hungarian earth to the end of the pier, and he's using it in preference to the usual chalk. There are five competitors left, and the height on the bar, 4.6 meters, 15 feet, one inch. Because I'd have thought that that would aggravate the shoulder problem. 
It's well over. Power number one. Good throw. Power from the earth, he says, and this Icelander loves an audience. Bill Kazmaier. Let's get it. Oh. Now, so far in this event, that shoulder hasn't bothered him. Oh, and it's miles over again. Who is the champion? Who is the champion? And John Paul reminding Kaz of that earlier paper champion remark. Raise the bar. Big up. It's well over. I start the striking power. On your marks and get set. And he's set off like a sprinter. Literally threw that one onto the barrel. Now the third one. Yes, and the sheer athleticism of this man is quite staggering. And now just that fifth stone. performance and surely now there can be no doubt whatever that John Paul Sigmundson richly deserves the title of the world's strongest man. <laughs> and a little slalom now from the champion, he's really fired up and all the world's a stage for this man, to John Paul Sigmundson, the world's strongest man. I'm feeling better today and uh... Thor spoke to me last night. This is the thunderstorm we had, yes. was it? <laughs> and told me to keep on fighting and do more than I have ever done. And well, we watched them behind because he's joint top now with Fekety and with Jamie. <laughs> Stopping to clap them on. And that is number five. Well, Hercules is back in business. In Iceland in the old days, we used to have many, many great men, fighters, warriors, also very great writers. They wrote down the stories about what the great men did, but now today we have not so great writers, we have only great strong men. Jamie Reeves, man of iron from Sheffield, champion now. It's two and three times title holder John Paul Sigmundson tries to psych himself up with the same weight on his fourth lift, but he's been struggling with a shoulder injury. Oh, he seems to be in real pain. Looks like they're going to alter the stands to try and get John Paul more comfortable under the apparatus. Well, he has 90 seconds. He's well within the limit. Oh, that's a much better lift. Yes, the correct position and sheer guts carrying John Paul through. It's worth pushing it on this first day of the competition. There's two more days to go. Remarkable time in the Mista behind him, 126. Tremendous. Sigmundson's first win of the competition. Great spirit between the men who share Viking inspiration. Iceland! Finland! And the Icelanders back in business. You and you and you and you and you. You thought I would finish. I'm Icelandic. I'm not finished. I would not be here if I thought I was going to lose. I always think I'm going to win. It is better to have a bad start and a good end than a good start and bad end. Sigmundson trying to pump up the adrenaline before this tricky stone. Yes, it looks really psyched up for this lift. John Paul Sigmundson, prepare to lift in your own time. Lift. Well, he won the last event, Jamie. He's got to keep the momentum going. Yes, he's at home lifting stones. He's got a very smooth technique. 18 stones balancing in his chest. And an easy press. He's done it. Tina <laughs> Halty has anything to do with it. John Paul, Sigmund, Iceland, 
On your mark and get set. Three times holder of the world crown, John Paul Sigmundson bursting into life, tossing that like a pebble, Jamie. Yes, he looks like he's bursting with energy. He knows he's got to win this event to stand any chance of catching OD. Oh, he's in fire this time. He's desperate to win. Yes, this is the third one going on. It looks a very fast time. More than 20 stones there. Oh, he's working now. He's on to the last one. It looks the fastest time. Well, the time's great. 27 seconds. Every chance of winning the event. It's that's, on. That's the lead. 51 seconds. Well, look at the speed of John Paul Sigmundson and Halfie Anderson following him every inch of the way. But it looks like OD's more than 12 seconds behind him. The other competitors are running over trying to spur OD on and make him run faster. Sigmundson accelerating all the time now. OD looks like he's tiring really, really badly. And Halfie's watching that clock. Every second's going past, but look at the time. He's approaching the finishing line. He's got to beat 52. And he's done it! He's done it! Oldie's got to finish in under one minute four now to assure himself of the title. It's a struggle, let's see how the time is. Oh no! John Paul's the champion! Oh, what a cruel way to lose. Oldie must be devastated. It's a shame he's got to be a loser at this class of competition. Is there something special about this inner Viking strength of yours? Uh, uh, as a kid, I started to read the Icelandic sagas, and I was very impressed. So I just tried to do the same, but of course I can't chop heads of people. I have to do it my way in competitions against giants. D before taking his rightful position. Yeah. And so Mr. Chris Thornycroft Smith, marketing director of Daft Trucks, presents a trophy and a five and a half thousand pound check to this charismatic champion. For a record fourth time, John Paul Sigmundson is the world's strongest man. Unnið móti sterkastu maður í heimi þessu um ár. Það er sett 84, 86 og 88. Ef hann átti að vera þungur og mikil fyrir kettnana sem sér sterkastu maður heims, þá var hann 130, 40 kíló þungur og mikil. Nú ef hann fór í vaxtræk þá skóf hann sig niður og það eldrætt og var 150-10 kíló sem vaxtræk þann maður. Þetta ég hafði síðan með gera svona. Please to learn Christmas Murray and Christie because uh, I was getting worried. He might be gay. <laughs> 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 he invited me to his home to show me his balls. The opening of Motislavica is the Halpid Setnipartal Smith and Rothschild. Jon Pateko has the Pusha has had the law. Vaninn var nú sá að menn rétt gátu lyftin og þó rogast með hann að það var að metra. En Jón rífur hann á loft og stígur léttan dans með hellinni í fanginu. 
síðan er Húsafellstón þekktasti afbjörnarstein heims og það eru til afstyrpur á honum í Suður-Afríku, Hollandi, Breflandi, Spotland út um allan heim. Þannig að hróður Jóns og hellunar fór víða. Oh, he was enormously popular. When we went to the discos, for example, the women were just trying to tear his clothes off. You know, once they discovered that I wasn't his wife, I was just the driver, they were always trying to get near him, you know? Einskiptin í kvennamálum, hann var ekki alla. Hann fór að sína mér þarna aðdáunan bréf, utan úr heimi, og dró hann upp úr fólnata skúfu heilan bunka af bréfum. Og meðal annars þá voru þarna fullt af myndum og það voru aðalega kvenkinni sem að var þarna í stóru meiri hluta aðdáendur og þær voru bara tilbúnar í hvað sem er, hvað sem þær voru giftar eða ógiftar og hvað sem þær bjöggu í kúla lumpur eða kaliforni. Gerðu þetta sjónvarpið datt út þannig að hann ætlaði að hitta upp og menn ég er hljóp upp og ætlaði að reyna að koma sjónvarpinni lag. Jón sat á bekk fyrir fórnin, hann var ekki að búna að taka sína liftu, þá var dottið að bekknum. Mér var í fersku menni að koma hann að sinni mínum sem hafði farið á sama veg og Jóa með glerú og hann var með belt. Þá er hann bara að líða út af og svo stóð ég bara nýfur honum og við horfðumst í augu og ég sá að þóttist vita að þetta væri búið á honum. Ég veit að hann sagði 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 að hann But he actually said, you know, I'm going to do what I, what I can do now because I'm, I know I'm going to die young. Ég geti grafar þessum sterkasta manni heims. It was as if it was a family funeral, it was as if there was a nation's funeral. You know yourself that the cathedral wasn't big enough to hold all the people. What a way to go, to have a heavy weight in his hands and fall and his heart to stop. He was doing the thing he loved when he left the earth. We miss him greatly, and any time any of the strong men talk about John Paul Sigmerson, they talk about his jovial attitude, his wonderful sense of humor, and his performances on the field, which were just spectacular. And you Icelanders should be very, very proud of your heritage, as well as John Paul Sigmerson, the true 21st century Viking. He's up above looking down and watching. And he knows that each time athletes are doing a celebration of strength, we honor him.